Hello, this is Paul Chapman and welcome to the third in my series of introductory tutorials on the Word Bible software. Today I'd like to demystify a little further uh, some of these icons that are appearing at the side of the Bible View window. We're going to go back to this window for this uh, tutorial. Um, you'll notice from our first or last tutorial I, I went through, uh, tutorial number one in fact, I looked at these four icons here. Let's go a little bit further in this list of icons. Here we have magnifying glasses with a plus and one with a minus. These are to increase the size of the viewing font in that window. As you can see, the more times I click, the larger the font becomes on the green one. If I click on the red magnifying glass with the minus symbol, it decreases the font size. And I might have the font very small or very big. A quick way of going back to the default is just by right clicking on those icons. Now below that, I have a I. And now what's that eye all about? To understand that, we're going to open up a second Bible window. Um, you'll see up here um, the new Bible view. If you remember from last time, I can open that up using this viewing new, new view window. And it will give me four options here. I want to open up a new Bible view. And there it is below uh, my view number one. That's one way of opening it up. I can also open up a new Bible view by clicking the icon below the eye, which will give me an exact copy of the layout and settings for the previous Bible view, just below that one. In this case, I've got ESV showing down here. ESV is activated. I have it showing with cross-references. I have it showing with cross-references here. So um, those cross-references, by the way, are hard-coded, and that's what we want to look at because that's what this eye icon is going to help us with. Now, if I'm in this particular window, looking at those cross-references, I click on one, and it jumps me in this same window to the cross-reference. I click on John 6.27. It takes me to John 6.27 to look at. Now, let's say I wanted to, though, keep uh, my view um, current in this window, but I just wanted to jump to the cross-reference but not lose my current view. How can I do that? Well, that's what the eye icon is all about. In, and we're going to use this second window as a dedicated cross-reference viewing window. And we can activate that simply by clicking on the eye icon. That now tells this window that I want you to be dedicated to cross-references only. And if I so while that's turned on, it, this Bible view should not sync with any other view. And if you, to show you, if I click on John 6.59, you'll see now this view is now jumping to John 6.59. And I can scroll through my top view and the bottom view does not sync with it. So it's most, basically that eye icon is telling this window to be a dedicated cross-reference viewing. And you can use that window and as many of these kinds of windows as you want to view cross-references, perhaps from the um, Bible, or if you're in a dictionary, or in a uh, commentary, or another resource you have, it has a cross-reference to a verse. You can click on the cross-reference and the cross-reference will appear in the dedicated window. Now the next icon below, as I said already, is for opening up a, a clone of the window. The icon below that is for opening up a print preview of whatever is in that particular Bible view window. In this case, it was John chapter 6, and I can then print out the entire contents of John chapter 6 directly to my printer. Okay, so that's what that icon does. Now below that, I'm going to just uh, expand this a little bit here. Below that, I have a, a, a hand icon. That hang icon, if I activate that, that simply means that I can put my push down on my um, mouse button and holding the mouse button down will scroll that window up and down. That's for people perhaps with a touch screen or a, a uh, touchpad computer. All right, so uh, let me turn that off. Uh, next, we have the paperclip icon. Now, that icon is used to synchronize views. Now, to give you an idea, let's say I want to synchronize this Bible view with this view. Well, to get that to work properly, I need to turn off, I need to make this now a synchronization window. So let's turn it off, the eye icon, and let's tell this view to synchronize itself with view number, the view below. I can do that by firstly, I hit the drop down arrow beside the paper clip. I tell it, I want you to synchronize with view number three, Bible view number three. And so now, make sure the paper clip is uh, is pressed down, it is, it's orange there, it's highlighted. So now as I scroll through uh, view number three, you'll see now it's synchronized with view number one. 
scrolling through its view number one, however, does not synchronize itself with view number three. It's, it's because I'm telling uh, view number one to synchronize with view three, but not the other way around. If I were to click the paperclip icon down here, uh, I think yes, paperclip icon, I want it to view. If I scroll down this one, now I've got, no matter where I go, both views will synchronize with each other. Okay? So that's um, uh, a quick way of getting synchronization to work. So let's um, turn that off for the time being. And of course the gear wheel icon gives me a number of options that I can set up with the uh, program itself uh, for the Bible view. Now I don't want to go through this today but that's I'll go through those on another occasion. But that's a little uh, background information on some of these icons. Now you'll notice up at the top these first two icons uh, which are part of the navigation. The first six are all about navigation. This green icon is now active rather this back arrow I should say, it's now actively colored green. Now that back arrow acts like a browser, a back browser button in a, um, uh, in a uh, web browser uh, for example. It's a very similar, if I just click on that back arrow it'll take me back to the previous verse. The more time, as, as many as I've uh, viewed in this session I'll go backwards or forwards. So it's basically a history of uh, references I've looked up in this uh, Bible view for this session. And to see the full history, if you look at the little drop down arrow, there's the full history that I can go back to, or I can go forward to the history of verses that I've looked up in that Bible view window for this session. So there you have it. That's a little bit of uh, information on these icons. I hope that that has demystified them somewhat for you. If you've enjoyed the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll try to answer the questions uh, below or else in future tutorials. So thanks for watching. Uh, till next time, take care, God bless, and have a great day. Bye for now.